Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about accountability. Can it be used for good or is it purely for evil? I know this might sound ridiculous, but this is a very common topic in the leadership teams that I deal with within organizations that really would like to install a greater level of accountability into their cultures. There is a perception of accountability within some that it is simply a tool to further strengthen a command and control style of management. This is when it is used for evil. You see, accountability where I am telling someone that they should do something and therefore they should be accountable for it or else, and there is dire circumstances generally at work, sometimes tangible and sometimes from a sabotage level rather intangible, they will suffer. That is not accountability, at least not an accountability that in my experience creates any kind of increase in engagement or better yet increased productivity from the people that you most need it from. That form of accountability sounds a lot like you suck for blah, blah, blah reason because you didn't do what I thought was important and so you should have, et cetera, et cetera. And it seems to be purely a form of finding people wrong. It is a tool that is all about having the lens that finds people wrong. That's not the accountability that I want you to be in using in your culture or in your leadership. I'm talking about the kind of accountability that can be used for good. Accountability as I know it is to be used on me, for me, and by me. And that's a phrase uh, I credit to context associated where I took a lot of my personal development training. On me, for me, and by me. Which means I don't go out pointing fingers unless I have an explicit agreement with that person or those people that when I see that they're not being accountable for something, they want me to point that out to them. So your job as a leader with yourself and with others is to create accountable agreements that have the other person agree to what it is that they wanted to do because it's meaningful to them. When it's meaningful to them, they're going to be accountable for it. They will want to be accountable for it. Now your job as the leader is to go out and find them doing it right, to find ways to catch them doing it right, to celebrate when they win. That is accountability. Now, it's not all fluffy. If they are going to say they're going to do something and then they don't, then you as the leader need to get a little bit of tough and in their face and say, why didn't you do that? What got in the way? What did you make most important? Or where didn't you ask for help, et cetera, et cetera. There is lots of valid reasons why things don't get done. But as the leader, you wanna look for them doing it right. You wanna be able to celebrate when they get it right and win. That is accountability. Not because I told them they should do it because I thought it was important and therefore, okay? So as a leader with yourself and with others, you have to find metrics, tasks that are meaningful to the other person that they find something, a reason that they wanna do it and go be accountable for that. I would love to hear your experience about accountability. Has it been used in your leadership for good or only for evil? Let me know in your comments in this blog. Take care, everyone. We'll talk to you later.